Hi lovely ones, welcome to your reading with me Lorian. This is a pick a card mostly requested from me asking you guys, you know, what you want to see on this channel and the overwhelming answer after some polls and everything like that, the overwhelming answer was what your spirit guides want you to know but make it timeless and also maybe make it um well, I'm just going to do it as part two. You know, the last time I checked in with spirit guides, maybe a few months ago. And so now I think it's very important to always check in with your guides and just see kind of if there's any changes. So I have no problem at all in doing this again for you guys. So without further ado, the first one that you have to choose from is group one. And it's this gorgeous tiger's eye that I got from my latest witch casket um, well, my first witch casket and the link to my review and unboxings up there somewhere uh, From the same box all these crystals are from the same witch casket. This is silver leaf jasper and It's absolutely lovely. So we've got that under group two and group three have green aventurine This is again from the witch casket and it's lovely. I love green aventurine but just connect with which crystal or which pile you feel very drawn towards also, I would say that, you know, within the reading I may draw some more cards, but you have tarot cards, a romance card, which will deal with your relationships in every angle as well, and also a work your light oracle card, but I will draw some more closer to the time. I'll also explain a little bit more about the crystals that you've chosen as well. But I'll leave you to get a little bit accompanied or grounded with the cards get a cup of tea if you like i have my tea here just in case i get a frog in my throat um but in the meantime i'll leave you just for a few seconds to meditate on the cards and i'll be with you in just a second starting with group one hello group one so you would have chosen this amazing tiger's eye which is so lovely it one of the best tigers I have seen. I really immediately connected with it. It's just, it's just amazing. So if you did connect with this tiger's eye, this is all about confidence. It's about charisma, power, integrity. It protects you. It's very much integrated within the sacral chakra, but also there's kind of an argument, well not argument, discussion, maybe it's also for the solar plexus and it gives you that confidence and the self-belief, self-assertion and maybe that's something that your guides want you to know is that you they want you to be assertive, they want you to feel confident, they want you to feel like you have, you know, they want you to feel like you have it in the bag, they want you to feel very connected to yourself in some form or another, they want you to feel like you have a very deeply divine connection to them as well maybe. I might pop it in front of this crystal as actually just so you can see a little bit more of it. So see what your cards are. So you have four cards that came out for you and I'm using the Taramuka. So you have oh, the five of pentacles, eight of swords, two of swords and the fool. All right. I'm actually probably going to get more light here in just a second. Forgiving and learning is your romance card or relationship card. And trust the niggle is your work your light oracle cards. Like I say, I'm just going to get some more light on here. I don't have a light in this room. The overhead light just snapped <laughs> a few, I think it was last year actually. So I'm working with candles and lamps and things. So bear with me just one sec. Well, you won't even see me, but just one second. Okay, well, I have no idea whether this additional candle made any difference at all. However, it won't make any difference when I hold them up to you because I do have my drawing lamp over there, so that should be fine. Right. Looking from these cards, I do honestly believe that there's a lot coming through that the tiger's eye relates to. There's things, a feeling like you are stuck in somewhere, maybe you're stuck in a place where people actually told you off. Or people said that you weren't worth something or people said that you know you were in the wrong and you were pushed to one side and you were doing this so it could be that there's been some issues lately maybe with just feeling out of the loop and people not understanding you and people not really being there for you in such a way 
but the key message of the tiger's eye is basically to gain that confidence again and in a way forgive and learn or if you can't forgive maybe just move past it as best you can as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and this to me is kind of a funny image to me because <laughs> it just looks so done with everything he's just there going you know what can't hack it, can't hack all these spirits coming at me, telling me everything, you know, maybe it's you in a way, like, oh god, I'm just so bored, and these people are trying to come to you and connect with you, and you're just like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm really not bothered with this, I can't be bothered talking to you guys, I can't be bothered talking to you about this, or, you know, you're gonna just steer me wrong, or even, you're not maybe hearing them at all, maybe it's not the fact that you're lacking anything it's just that you're too busy or you're too switched off or onto other things and you just can't hear them and that can sometimes be where you have to trust the niggle because what is this niggling feeling trying to tell you maybe there's something that your inner self your lighter selves your darker selves are trying to tell you and just saying you know trust that intuition trust that you're actually going to be better in yourself and not have to rely too much on other people or rely too much on how you kind of come into things and you know like a, a negative pattern you can always turn it positive and I think with these cards especially let me just see if I can grab these this is kind of like dear lord where have I been what am I doing how can I get out of this what the heck is going on how can I move myself out of this phase into another better one you may be feeling quite left out or worried about excluding um self-exclusion should i say worried about self-exclusion worried that people are going to exclude you should you move forwards or get past a certain point and then the eight of swords is basically suggesting that you're doing this to yourself anyway by actually worrying about it and taking a step back so what you maybe need to do it's just kind of step into your power or maybe you feel too tied up in everything that is going on around you you've promised too many things to too many people and you're just trying to set yourself straight and then you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't and that's kind of the worry that's coming forward for a lot of you guys here sorry if there's a big bang in a second because whoop, there we go because people have been buying fireworks all the time and it's not even fireworks night so this gives you a little hint as to what it is right now then we have the fool. Maybe that's it actually, the firework going off. I always take things as signs, you know? There's something that's going to come in and actually wake you up here. And maybe it's not necessarily forgiving and learning and doing the thing, but something's going to wake you up so you actually one day take, yeah. Okay, so yeah. They want to talk to you. The message from your spirit guide, maybe I'm the wake-up call, I don't know, maybe that bang was the wake-up call for you. They want to speak to you. They want to set you on a new path. They want to get you on to someplace new. And if you're reacting to this video like, I'm trying to talk to the guys, I'm trying. You're forcing too much and you're creating a negative block of pushback because you feel like you're not getting any um, information from them. You feel like you're not getting any connection from them and as I said that my lamp light over there I don't know whether you saw started blinking it's blinking again so there's a lot of stuff coming through that they want you to take notice of they want you to take notice of them they want you to make if it's Morse code it doesn't matter just ask for signs for things don't be closed off I mean yes it may be very very dampening and terrible at the moment for you and you may feel like everybody hates me that's not true you guys are willing to give you kind of a, a shroud, a cloak of love and beauty. They want to come into your life and they want to help you. You have to trust when things are wrong though. You have to trust. Make sure you believe your intuition. Believe in yourself more. Get some tiger's eye. Put it in your bra, put it in your pants, doesn't matter. Just do something that allows you to feel more connected to yourself because this is a disconnect and I feel like this kind of um, fear is preventing you from going forwards. The issue is not necessarily on the outside. The issue starts within as well. If you allow the outside to get in and harm you, if you, are, not harm you, but you know, bother you and you can't heal and you feel like you're just repeating it, either seek 
the help that you need or accept your spirit guides in, in, a, in a weird way. I know I'm maybe not explaining this as better as I could do, but it's something that feels like it's very important for you to just kind of come forwards and get things done, really. Sorry about that. Um, if there was a little jump there, it's just because the camera died again. Um, but the main thing is just to kind of trust your intuition, trust what your spirit guides are trying to tell you. For me, it feels like there's a disconnect with a lot of different things within your life at the moment, and that's maybe where you're feeling unsatisfied. You're not feeling very in tune with what you are supposed to be feeling in tune with. Um, what brings you joy before may not bring you joy any longer. So it's this kind of feeling of change and this feeling of movement into something new. Um, and you maybe you can't get over the threshold of this something new because you're hanging on to all the things that went wrong in the past and maybe don't want to take a chance. So spirit guides are kind of saying, trust the nickel. If it is... You know, something that you feel is wrong, it's something still bothering you, try and do some shadow work on yourself. Try and see if there's something within you that actually tells you, yeah, this is why you're having that or this is why you're experiencing this. It's because da -da -da, you're still holding on to a grudge because of blah, blah, blah. They will still tell you. They will still inform you and let you know what you can do to do it. I mean, as far as I know, you may um, start to smell things. You may start to have, um, like, scents and stuff like that. Um, things that come through and actually give you this feeling of familiarity and something that you're like, oh, okay, so I can actually, I can smell somebody or I can smell a helper. They're trying to come in and tell you that they're there and that there's going to be something that you need to pay attention to and there's something, a change about to happen. So with this, I'm also going to do a Nature's Whispers card just to see if there's anything else that I can glean from your spirit guides for you. But at the moment, it does feel very personal to you to say something is still niggling at you, something is preventing you from taking this path what they're trying to do is just say trust in yourself if it's belief in yourself take it if it's something that you feel your head's all foggy do some meditation grounding clearing make sure that you turn your wi-fi off at night make sure that all your electricals are just kind of evened do something to clear the fog from your mind a little bit more so i'm just going to do like I say, one of these cards, and then see what's coming in for you guys. All right, this one. Laughter. Mm -mm -mm. Well, they do say laughter is the best medicine, um, but I do feel that it's the best case scenario here as well. Find what gives you joy. Find what makes you laugh. Find what gives you that kind of reason to be here if something really does give you this sensation of joy like whether that's creating or talking to a friend or going out or nature try and do more of that do more of what makes you happy it doesn't have to cost some money it can just be watching a film that you truly love and remembering why you love it it could be getting out of this system of kind of looking at things in a negative way it could be just getting away from the feeling of uh, downward spirals but it does feel a little bit like okay so what they're saying here as well maybe forgive yourself for something that you've done forgive yourself for um any mistakes that you made any wrong turns that you made oh if i'd have just done that at that time then this would Okay, well, it didn't happen, so there's no point in going over it. <laughs> there's no point in wondering what could have been, because it wasn't. What you need to now do is forgive for any mistakes, wrong turns, for getting led down the wrong path, for choosing a different thing. Because now, you guys want to talk to you, you're in a better place now, and then you can move on with more enlightened understanding. And what they're saying is trust the niggle. For some of you, I feel like this niggle is telling you to get out of something, or put a stop to something. So either move, or um, put a stop to people taking advantage of you, or stop people from just presuming something about you. It could be that they are trying desperately to... Um, provoke you in doing something or just you wanting to stop a harmful habit that you've got into for instance wanting to you know not eating breakfast or lunch but eating everything under the sun at night 
which is what I used to do. You know, I used to be too busy for breakfast, not really eat lunch, and then just have snack, 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 and dinner and dinner and dinner, all from like 6pm onwards, which isn't really healthy. So that's something that you need to look at yourself and see if there's anything that you can change, because your guides, as far as I see, they don't want this to last too long now. They don't want this to be the main focus for you. They want you to have laughter. They want you to have something that's coming forwards to give you that sense of um, achievement, of joy, of pleasure. You know, they don't want you to worry about making the wrong decision all the time because then you'll freeze and you won't move. These cards are calling me as well, these Archangel cards. I will be doing a messages from your angels cards video actually, or message from your angels. Um, but these did want to come out especially for you guys. And again, this one. All as well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you'll soon understand. So if you think you did something wrong, if you think you shouldn't have done this, or they're really annoying you, or you ha you wanted that promotion, it's not come through, and how dare they do this and all that kind of stuff. Take a lesson from the tiger's eye. You know, all is well. Take a lesson from the tiger's eye. Have that brave feeling. There's power and integrity here. It's about knowing that you're doing the right thing. I mean, if we bring all these over here, you know, the lovely cards that seem to say, you know what, everything's fine. Laugh about it, have a new start. You're not foolish for wanting a new direction. That's not it. You're not foolish for wanting to connect with your inner child, for wanting to do something that sparks joy. Forgive yourself maybe for what society is telling you. Trust your intuition. This belongs over there, out the way. This is what you should focus on and your guides are desperate to come in and tell you everything is fine, everything is okay. I don't know who this is speaking to but I'm getting a lot of women <laughs> so maybe it's just you know the women watching this video maybe and choosing part one or group one, you're all right. Nothing from the past will define you. No mistakes will define you. Forgive the people who have pissed you off. Forgive the people who have seemingly mucked it up. And forgive yourself if you feel you have. It's just a case of, okay, well, clear my hands off and carry on. And I really hope that this helped you. I really do hope you take solace from it and, you know, some kind of energy. I mean, I'm sending you healing energy um, just to see if you can you know, gain some confidence, and again, I would recommend, if you can, or if not, just meditate on a picture of a tiger's eye, you know, print one off and keep one next to you, um, but the tiger's eye, just remember, it's there for you. Well, thank you very much for watching group one. I know that was a pretty intense reading, but maybe it's something that you needed to hear. I feel like there's a lot coming through to tell you that it's okay. Stop panicking. But let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you. And if you'd like a personal reading, all the links to contact me are down below in the description box. But thank you so much for being here, sending you so much healing. I hope to see you guys again soon. And I'll move on now to group two. Hello, group two. So you would have chosen the silver leaf jasper, which is absolutely a beautiful crystal that I got from the witch casket. If you chose silver leaf jasper, this is all to do with balance, grounding, stability, willpower. I don't know whether it's focusing on me actually, let me just... Anyway, you can see it a little bit. But that is a very strong crystal to have on your side, especially if you're feeling a little bit lost. I mean, grounding and stability is always handy to have. So I'm going to, you. we're using Tarot Mooka for your tarot cards. So these are the star, wow. Judgment, okay. 
then we have the Page of Swords, and then we have the Magician. So you have very, very major cards here. Um, and Group 1 was kind of intense and, you know, maybe feeling a little bit lost. I don't get the same feeling from you guys here. Um, it seems a little bit different. Let me just bring this out of the way because I'm worried that it's casting a shadow. Not really, but where do I put you now? I'll just pop you there. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that seems to be coming through on these cards in particular that feels like there's a great deal of potential and the guides seem to want to come through and tell you there's an awakening going on. Recognize your inner strength almost. Let me have a look what your relationship card is. Reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. Maybe you need to just make yourself aware of that. And then we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So let me just take a moment here and just see how these are relating to each other and what your guides actually want to talk to you about. To be honest, the thing that's coming to mind a lot is the last group had the fool and you have the magician kind of in the same place actually, the, the fourth card. So it almost seems like the previous three cards are lessons and the fourth card is what you do with those lessons. So the star in particular is kind of telling you that there is an expansive understanding coming in. You are loved, you are going to be supported by the universe and you have the potential. Maybe a bit raw, maybe untapped. But this is why judgment's coming in. And judgment comes in to tell you to awaken, to answer the calling that is only being given to you, your individual very strong, very, I think impressive is the word that's coming to mind, calling to do something that really does set your soul on fire. And it feels as though there's reassurance from your guides in this respect as well. A lot of what I'm seeing maybe has to do with um, being on your guard a little bit. So standing up for yourself, awakening, going, no, I'm not going to do the status quo anymore. The page of swords is very analytical. Maybe somebody younger in your life, if not you, like an aspect of, you know, air sign, sun, moon or rising. It could be that you're actually looking to communicate a bit strongly this month. Um, but it does feel, you know, this month is in whenever you're watching this video, because this is a timeless video. Um, but your guides seem to be telling you that there will be invitations on their way, there will be a reason to act, there will be a reason for you to start manifesting process. Do it today if you haven't done already. Start doing this process where you say, you know, I'm very grateful for, and then list everything that you want as if it's already happened like an hour ago to you. So, for instance, I'm so happy and grateful that next month I am full of work, my diary is full, and I'm absolutely grateful that the universe has provided me with this opportunity. I'm so looking forward to getting through everybody who has come forward to me or sent me an email. You know, that feeling of just writing it down or saying it to yourself or doing a meditation just to say that I am grateful thanks universe because they're wanting to work with you every single reading I think that in this choice is going to be that your guys want to work with you um because sometimes it's just a case of you needing to open the door a little bit more to let them in but I do see change coming in for you I feel like they want to help you through this change through this kind of turning point I don't know where this is coming from and maybe it's your soul return soon if it's your birthday soon when you're watching this um but it feels like there's a new start here and reconciliation coming in oops try not to lift my <laughs> lift my tablecloth um the reconciliation is not just romance it could be somebody from the past who you thought you'd lost touch with completely and they're coming back in and they're wanting to offer you friendship they're wanting to offer you you know something that you feel it may be worth your time, you know, you're like, oh, that's cool, yeah, that's nice. But it could also be that you kind of didn't leave each other on the nicest terms. For some of you, your guides seem to say that this is to do with past life karma, past life incarnations, and this could be to do with family as well. So past life issues with family and now 
maybe have been repeating in this one and so you maybe you know lost touch with a few family members over the course of the last year or so um or even before that but it does feel like somebody new is coming into your life as well as somebody from the past it, and i think maybe they could come at the same time um but you need to decide what type of person you're going to be so this magician here this is all that I'm getting from you guys. I'm not reading this from the cards themselves. This is something that they want you to decide who you are. You have all the tools at your disposal. You have everything that you could possibly need. So what is it that you want to do with it? I feel like you are happier when you have your fingers in many pies. When you have multiple points of interest. When you want to do, you know, like you have something, but then you also have an escape. And I think that Maybe you're now turning less to the day job or something, but more to the escape. And it could be that your life time or your life path is changing towards a new area or who you are. You're growing more into yourself. You know, like we outgrow shoes when we're little. It's now you're ready for a new pair of shoes, basically. You're ready to walk a new direction. You're ready to walk a new path. When you feel it, you have to wear this new person in to get it comfortable, to get used to it, to feel as though you're very secure in this new person who you're becoming. But it also feels like the reconciliation is kind of you getting over whatever was in the past and thinking, you know what, this new me or this new um, aura of me is absolutely fine. I do see that there's a potential for you to be doing stuff uh, they just seem to be like if you have a lot of invitations if you have a lot of things to do if you have a lot of stuff to organize maybe just plan them and see how you feel before you start rushing around trying to do all the errands under the sun because it seems like that could take away and frustrate you and just argue with you you know i see people just being not the best people um when you get into this zone of frustration with others and then it's just like oh it all kind of leaves you in a state that isn't the best shall we say but birthing a new age this is you coming into i love this card as well this is you coming into something that's completely new and different and i understand that you may be feeling a little bit ooh, not too sure about this because it takes a lot for our consciousness and for ourselves to step into a new person because we're designed to be cautious about the unknown we are designed to be a little bit more Mm, well stepping into this a little bit of you know eyes wide open yes but also not sure about who we are or what we're meant to be doing i do feel that there's a lot coming in to give you time and to give you pleasure but also they seem to your spirit guides seem to want to say you're becoming somebody new and i think you can feel it on the inside it's time to become somebody new it's time to evolve past the issues that maybe you've experienced before stand up to the things and the energies that you don't want it's okay to let something go like describe something to you like if somebody wants to argue with you online which happens a lot to people or if somebody you know you see all this stuff and things trending and you're like oh my god will you just shut up it's okay for you to not care about the stuff that's going on if you want to self-preservation, you know, preserve yourself and preserve your energy, switch it off. Look at something else. Look at animal videos. Look at something cute. You don't have to actively engage in people's outrage all the time. Because that will actually outrage you more than anything else. But there's something that I think is, you know, it's holding you back. And they don't really want you to hold on to that anymore. They want you to maybe reconcile. Oops reconcile the previous you with you who you are now so it's not necessarily oh i'm totally different you just evolved you're a level up you know you're in bigger shoes now and i think also this could be your spirit guides like reconciling with your spirit guides a little bit more so let's see what an angel card is coming through for you Actually, the one at the back seems to really want to come through. Spread your wings. There we go. So, oh, I can put them down somewhere. 
This one has a very clear message and this one basically says that you do not hold back. The timing's perfect and you're ready to soar. And this is a very important card for various things, to be honest, within your lifetime. Sorry if there was a slight cut there because the battery died again, so I just had to charge it. Um, yeah, this is a very, very particular and incredible card. You know, that's important on several different levels within your lifetime. It is going to be something that you have to be ready for. I think every single stage you are going to be ready for some sort of leap. So it may be a cycle, you know, you may have ditched a perfect job to go travelling. You may have decided to drop everything in your career to do re-education, you know, or you may have stopped something to do something else. It's kind of like the pivots that we do in life, in like everything. You know, there's always a right time to take that leap of faith. And I think that's kind of what they're saying to do here. There is a lot to come forward to you in the sense of be confident in your decisions. Take the reins how only you can. Make sure that you can be the manifester and actually bring in the opportunities. And when the opportunities come in, be unafraid of looking at this as, you know, I'm going to grab you by the horn and just carry on and do what I want to do. Some people here um getting the message that, you know, some people hold you back and it's because they feel that they want to protect you. They feel that they want to tell you, um, for instance, we really support you and stuff. We want you to do what's sensible and what's right for you. Whereas your version of what's right for you may not be exactly the same as theirs. So that's kind of the issue I think that these cards are getting at and these in your guides as well is that they want you to stand up to stagnation they want you to stand up to the things that just seem to be same old same old I'm getting the feeling that you will be starting to tie something up in order to launch yourself into the next stage you'll probably be looking into you know again this card comes through birthing a new age it feels like there's new creations but also something that you're bringing in yourself and maybe you are creating something, a new business, maybe you're creating an app, a book, a piece of artwork, a class for people to take, a new route, maybe you want to build, literally build houses, maybe you want to do something like that, so it's all a matter of what feeds your soul. So let's have a look and see what comes through in these cards for you, these are the Nature's Whispers Oracle Deck. All right, you definitely wanted to come in. Intuition. Actually, the top one also wanted to come through, so this is expansion. Yes. So, if I can hold them up at the same time, it's very difficult. So with this, you have a three and a nine. So threes are all about communication and how you communicate with people is quite important, especially over the next few weeks. Um, again, timeless, so it doesn't matter exactly when you see this, but the messages that I'm getting from your guides at the moment is that it's important to be very connective. At the moment, we are going to go into Mercury retrograde, so maybe that's why they're saying communication is important, but threes are about how you use your words, how you use your language in order to get people on side or to expand your mind and also I do feel that this is something to do with being a little bit more reached you know outreach to people and also she's holding somebody's hand she's kind of fading away but she's kind of reconnecting maybe with who she is who she was in the past people from the past you know going back to something that maybe she thought was left behind and now she's returning to something that maybe she's always wanted to do and then the nine is the end of an era but this is also to do with intuition this is something about not only expanding your mind but being the manifester connecting with your guides being very in tune with what they're wanting to tell you and how they want you to take the information whether it's good or whether it's just a hint you know because sometimes hints come through sometimes things come in that say you know you may be better doing this but it's up to you so I do feel that in this instance what they're saying is that it has the power of the mind your mind needs to be clear you need to be able to manifest with your heart chakra and your um 
sorry, your third eye, because this is very important for you. I mean, especially with this, you know, the silver leaf, you know, you may want to buy one or you may want to, you know, just, as I said in the first group, print one out and keep it by you because that'll carry the same energy, the same type of stuff. But it is very important for you to get acquainted with what makes your vibrations happy, what makes your vibrations you know rise up and if you can hear rustling i'm sorry but my cat's just decided to come in um but there is a lot of it i think you can take from certain aspects here and certain movements i mean the silver leaf jasper and especially is about balance and stability and willpower and you know that sense of wanting to be somebody but also i think that you are somebody and that's what they want to tell you that you are you don't just matter with your achievements you matter with every action that you do and i think that if you don't want to stay in this you know stagnant in a way um in the same place anymore that's absolutely valid and you can absolutely do that um and i do feel that some people may try to dismiss your needs dismiss what you see as important maybe you're always the reliable one maybe you're always there for people and you know people just expect you to come at their beck and call maybe they just expect you to always be there and that's why they're like oh well you're, you're disrupting the status quo here we don't really like the fact that you may want to move or you know do this thing that will suit you down to the ground and what they're saying to you is you guys are telling you just do it take some confidence, take some guidance and just do what you feel in your heart needs to do. You know, it may just be as simple as changing your diet. You know, a lot of meat eaters, omnivores and stuff like that, they, well, including myself, never thought that they would go vegan, but now they're turning more vegetarian and now you know it could be people in your life going wow that's a bit extreme cutting out meat out of your diet you know it could be something as simple as that but something that you will feel better doing and that's the point it's something that you're going to do that makes you feel better that you're doing something good for yourself maybe others too but some people don't understand that and if they don't understand that that's fine it's not up to you to explain it or justify it to anybody you know you don't have to owe them answers you don't owe them an explanation as to why this feels good to you and why you have to do it the main thing that you need to do is reconcile the fact that you know the past was the past it's fine maybe there's some things that I would have done differently but I'm going to do my way now I'm going to do it the way I need to I'm going to plan I'm going to be the magician of my own life the star indicates that my guides are with me and judgment I'm waking up to this new wave I'm waking up to what my intuition says my intuition is expanding and I'm going to spread my wings. I'm going to forgive myself maybe from the past as well. But also I'm going to birth this new age for me and me alone. For the betterment of me and for everyone around me in my circle. You know, because they may not see it now but they will actually get the benefit of it event, you know, further down the line. So I think that's what your guides want to say is, you know what, if you feel it in your heart, if you feel it in your gut instinct, just do it. You will be fine you'll be fine, just obey that intuitive flash, you know, a lot of times people come to me for readings seeking permission to something that they desperately want to do and, you know, it's my job then to do readings for them that will not only kind of explain, you know, the energies that are around them but also empower and I think that's really something that you can do for yourself as well, is it empower yourself and make sure that you are able to stand on your own two feet and be confident in your decisions and that seems to be something that I just want to bring forwards at this point in time but thank you so much for watching I do hope everything goes absolutely fantastically for you let me know in the comments below how things go and also if this reading resonated to get a reading or if you would like to just contact me or follow me on social media it's all down below but in the meantime thank you so so much for being here and watching with me thank you for subscribing liking and sharing and I will speak to you very very soon I'm now going to go on to group three Hello lovelies, and you who would have chosen the group three with the green aventurine, which is all about good luck and fortune and changing your, I suppose, changing your look really in a way. There's also a feeling of 
kind of success, good fortune as well. Your independence could come on a bit of a good flow when you work with Green Aventurine. As I say, these are from the Witch Casket, which hopefully I can get this month. Um, but yeah, if you are interested, I'll link down below about that. And the other light has just gone dim, but no matter to me. I'm doing this one late afternoon, so we still have some sun to work with, or at least grey outside. <laughs> Alright, so your tarot cards are the Four of Pentacles. And I'm using Taramuka for these. The Page of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. And your Romance card, or Personal Relationships card, is Separation. Okay, and then we have Trust Your Path here. So I'm just going to see kind of what I can grab from this. I may be getting messages from your guides directly, maybe not using the cards, but, you know, having them just deliver messages through some sort of way in the images here. Sometimes tarot cards come through with a particular visual message rather than the actual name of the card or anything. So, I do feel, you know, actually with the Green Adventure, there is a very defined stamp of independence coming in here. It's almost like it's saying you have permission to go your own way. Actually, that's what's repeating in my head. You can go your own way. Um, I don't know who it's by, but that's just the thing that's repeating in my head. Um, and I do feel that if you have been clinging on to a set way of doing things if you've been clinging on to what makes you feel secure now is the time they're saying you can change that you can change what makes you feel secure I also fear not fear but maybe that's something that's coming through for you um I feel that a lot of you are in relationships or have been in relationships until quite recently trying to express this in a sensitive manner they're not the best for you uh, they're not the nicest people to be around or they are damaging in the way that they are very consuming now this could be friends family and loved ones but for a lot of you because this has come up here it's very much either a significant friend or it's somebody who you are in love with or have a lot of love for it's it's a case of you need to separate that and it could be the queen of wands here it could be somebody that you're focusing on too much or somebody's taken a lot of well taken up a lot of land in your mind um and you've maybe focused on their problems a bit too much alternatively it could just be that you are the embodiment of this one this month and therefore you are nurturing, you have to nurture yourself. You are going to be finding new and better paths to take. And I think that if you feel that your path is veering off what you anticipated, this is for a lot of you, like your career, or something is not going the way you anticipated it was going, they're now trying to turn you onto the right track. Um, because you may have been on the wrong one before and never even knew it. So they're trying to adjust, they're having little adjustments. You know like if you see a pilot and he just makes tiny little adjustments to the joystick or whatever it is, just tiny. It feels like that's all you need. Tiny little adjustments and it could just be not replying to messages straight away or seeing through the rose tinted glasses to the reality that's laying out in front of you. So it could be that you are so caught up on this person or this individual, you really can't see the wood for the trees with them and that's fine. We all have it. We all have these little things where we think they're amazing because we can't see the bad sides yet. We can't see how badly it's affecting us, focusing so much on them, focusing so intently on how they are. And that's what I'm getting here. So time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And it could be, again, somebody that you love, somebody that you're very fond of, somebody like a business partner could even be coming through here I just get the impression that this is something that may be needed 
or if your partner has broken up or if something has gone wrong with a breakup recently you may still be wondering if it's your fault if there's something you could have done differently and the answer is really no there isn't much that you could have done differently to be honest with you this is just a case of wanting to fix things that maybe shouldn't be fixed so it could even be that if you are you know maybe it was a year ago that you broke up with somebody and it's kind of like um still lingering and you still have this separation or you you last spoke to your best friend a year ago and you're like oh, i really wish i could have actually connected to them one last time or you know i wonder how they are maybe there's still something that you're not really forgiving yourself for because i don't see this was anything but meant to be it's kind of like people go on a lot about twin flames and when twin flames happen, it's messy. Soulmates can fit together a bit nicer. But twin flames are all about lessons and hardship and trying to overcome it and evolve together. If for any reason that wasn't possible, then you just have to try again, maybe in another life or later on down the road. But don't blame yourself for any separation. If it's to do with a romantic connection here, if it's a friendship connection, then I feel like maybe it's the case that you weren't meant to be friends at that point and just carry on in the future here because that's the messages that they're bringing forward to me there is a separation here i do also feel like you are going to get messages that really lead to creation but maybe the idea of it or the setup for it leaves a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth because they're kind of suggesting that you need to create more you need to do something but maybe you haven't felt like creating recently because you're just too exhausted you're too tired you can't be bothered and that's fine everyone's allowed to get that way but it could be all right the feeling that i'm getting is somebody's um offerings of sympathy or somebody's offerings of oh it's all right you're okay and everyone's not too bad and if you can hear rattling sorry as my cat's decided to come in the room um if you hear like people trying to reassure you that you are as a person absolutely fine and there's nothing else i mean i'm doing the same for you but sometimes i think other people's um conversations to you you just kind of like this is just a line and i think you're going to be picking up at the moment um yeah, they actually say that you're going to be picking up on who's feeding you a line and who's actually genuine with this. Um, I think maybe you should start practicing that now. Just see if you can get into the rhythm of, okay, so you're full of it and you're quite genuine. It's people bleating out, this is valid, this is absolutely... Because they can't think of anything, uh, you know, personal language to say. They're just kind of bleed out and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with people who say you know LGBTQ you are valid and you belong and everything but it's just kind of the more it is said in a certain way the more empty it gets because it's kind of like you don't constantly need this approval you just need somebody to go you know what I know it's really hard it's a bit crap isn't it it really is but don't worry things will improve and we'll get through it together not just sympathy card realism <laughs> coming here like you just you don't just want somebody quoting stuff like they've read it on some social network site and just saying yes blah blah, blah and going through the motions you want somebody to feel it when they're saying it to you so it could be that somebody comes back um or this is what you should be looking for in a friendship um or a relationship like somebody who actually just doesn't quote things or repeat things that they've seen that seem to have the desired effect you want somebody who uses their language in a very be in a very honest earnest way who maybe doesn't even beat around the bush a little bit you know um if they think you're like well you know what i think you're a bit wrong there but we'll do it this way and somebody who's just open and honest i think either is coming into your life or they want you to search for quality of friendships and relationships like that person, somebody who's open. Because you'll probably start to feel that this person is your, not soulmate necessarily, but on your level, they're your kind of person, basically. They may be a kind of a very similar to you. But as I was saying about the path 
twisting. These are the kind of people that you need to keep yourself around. And I think your spirit guides are very much like, you know when they say, try and find your soul family. Try and find the people that you're going to gather with, your clan as it were. Maybe you should do that on the new path. Because if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So you need to have the support of the people around you in order to get to that certain stage. I really hope that I'm making sense here. If you have any questions, drop uh, drop them below. Um, but I'll just gonna drive some more cards here. You, okay, so, right. I just want to say that you are going to get very successful and your version of success will be different for everybody else that watches this video. But they made me look at the crystal. You're going to get some people who are not enjoying your new success or your new achievements or your new you. They're not going to like the changes that you're making to yourself and in your life. And I feel they're saying that um, essentially it's fine. If they don't like it, just kind of allow them to not like it because you're not going to change their minds. <laughs> It's really unfortunate, but you're really just not going to change their minds on that one. And it's best to just go forward with a healthy kind of look at it, really. Sorry about any brief um, glitch there. Um, it's because my phone has to recharge again because it's really bad. Um, and then by the time it's recharged, I come back and it's night. So, um, yes, basically the gist of it is if they don't like your communication, the way that you are going about your success, the way that you are living your life in order to achieve success, then their opinions should not really be made a part of your daily worries, your daily consuming of other people's energies. That is not something that I believe your guides want you to pay attention to here. So again, I'm just going to shuffle these cards. Okay. Let's see what information we have for you. Okay, so this one wanted to come through. Leadership and also comfort. Okay. So leadership comes through a little bit here with it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So what I was just saying as well with regards to how you want to live your life if people don't really want to follow you you can't force them but i do believe that you're going to lead by example you don't have to kowtow to other people and what they feel like you should be doing anymore this is very much a call to arms almost like judgment and i feel like another group got judgment as well but you guys seem to be suggesting that there's a new way of doing things for you that you don't have to stay in the same aspect that you have been doing for the last how many months how many years you're going to be tested but you're going to surpass the tests and I think that's what's going to surprise you is that you're just going to leap over them as though they're nothing but a mere hurdle whereas other times you may have crashed into them I think you've learned a lot about what you've done how you've been what the messages meant to you how you wanted to um overcome things and now you're just going to sail through but you are still clinging on maybe to an old routine or old people because they bring you comfort now some of these people will no longer bring you comfort very soon um and it's it's always a shame to move forward and think you know what i'm drifting from this person but in some ways it's for you to recognize and know that they would cause you more trouble down the line the further on you take these people the more they are going to try and wind into your life and i feel like this one says i am with you in your time of need helping your heart to heal so again maybe this is a separation that you feel like oh, you know i'm really really sad that i have to end it i'm really sad that it did end i'm really sad that you know i you know, had to do this in order to move away and figure myself out. Um, but the thing is, you don't need to apologise for it. And I think that's what the um, guides are trying to say to you as well. Don't apologise for the decisions you have made if they weren't for the betterment of yourself. Some people, and they do seem to come forward with a sense of, oh, you selfish person, you did all this and this and that and the other. And it's always the case of, no, if you did it to actually better yourself and your path and how you wanted to connect 
yourself with the way that you want to move forwards. I think that's always to the betterment of you. I feel like apologising because you were maybe not selfish but self-sufficient. You know, like I don't need you to support me through this. I have this. I feel like a lot of you were stronger and made stronger and then people left you or people changed their view of you because you're not the same anymore. Well, yeah, we're supposed to evolve. <laughs> we're supposed to become a, a better versions of ourselves. And if they don't like the fact that you speak up to them, if they don't like the fact that you're actually telling them they would not on a lot of the time, that's because, you know, they were used to you being submissive. And I think that's for some of you who may have got used to people just being very nice and then as soon as you say well actually I don't agree with that and finding your voice to these people they're kind of coming through and saying you're doing right by speaking up and saying please don't say that please even if it's a family member you know just going please don't do that so let's have a look at another card Oh, you've got two here. One thing that came to mind was that, um, you know, you're watching TV and somebody may be saying, oh, you know, this person, what I, you know, they need to lose weight or, you know, something that seems to be really nasty or, well, not nasty, but just like jokingly that they're, you know, overweight or something like that. And you maybe feel that they're going a bit overboard with it or, you know, there's something about, well, how would it make you feel that if you were overweight and they're joking about somebody on TV who's overweight and you're kind of like, well, they're the same as me, so how do you see me? So that's sometimes the feeling that I get from people is that you may be starting to see changes in other people as you start to see the changes in yourself, which can be really cool. It can also be really sad to know that you're moving forwards um, in a way. Vulnerability, yeah. So there could be a feeling where you feel quite needing comfort, yeah, and looking into your comfort zones, your habits that make you feel better. Some people have blankets, some people, well, I, when I was very young, used to insist on having a six pack of Rocky Bars, um, which were chocolate coated biscuits, and I used to just, whenever I was feeling sad, I used to have to go and get them. Obviously changed out of that a little bit now but you know things like food things like things like, I don't know um random hookup dating shall we say that could also be a sense of comfort just to have that kind of interaction I feel though that your vulnerability is also becoming your strength so you're recognizing the flaws or the weaknesses that you may have and seeing how you can better yourself around them and what your um guides seem to be saying is that it's okay to be vulnerable we're here we're here we see that you're vulnerable we see that you're still grieving or hurting or this process is quite annoying for you or this process is um of learning and trying to evolve is incredibly difficult and we know that and we're sorry that you're going through it but we are being with you we are i think this is a message from them actually show your support they are wanting to come and show your support because if you can see here there's this little sprite with a little flower coming to this woman and i feel that they are going to want to come in and show their support to you and just say you know what we're kind of apologizing for this we regret what's happened um but i don't think they caused it that's the one thing i want to say spirit guides um, only come in to show you signs and help you and if you allow them they can you know put a particular path in front of you or they sometimes literally shove a person in front of you in order to um, you know bring you both together you know that kind of thing or if there's a repeated lesson they try and show you it what they cannot do is force you to do things they can take things away and they can put things in but they can't force your decision so for instance they can't make a situation for you like they i really hard to describe really but i'm just meaning that they didn't devise this they didn't make this they just maybe like a switch push 
or direct a little bit of the pawns now and then and then whatever happens comes as a culmination of each pawn's decision including yours so that could be where you know the arguments because you chose not to say your mind and then suddenly you do say your mind and that person doesn't like it that's your decisions um and that's your awakening and then what you do after that will be supported by your guides and if you ask them how the hell can I come across this? How can I move past this? They will show you the way. I do feel this is a lot to do with um, feeling a little bit lost, feeling a little bit maybe out of sorts, but this is because you're evolving to a higher level and some people are dragging onto your ankles like anchors and they want you to let them, people, um, loosen your grip on them a little bit because you may want them throughout the rest of your life. They may not be long there and I think that's what they're trying to uh, tell you here. It's a bit of a long, convoluted message in regards to that, but I do hope you took something from this. If it did resonate, please let me know in the box below. And also, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing. It really does make my day when I see you interact with these posts and tell me about things that are happening with you. If you do want a reading, all my links to social media and my website's down below. But in the meantime, have a really wonderful time. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you need, you can just come to this reading, pick another one or... You know, I'll be doing more in the future as well. But ultimately, I'm sending you so much love and happiness and luck and healing and whatever you need. I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. And take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.